If you could hear the voices of the children that each of these represents, you would hear their cries for help. They marked the number of abused children seen at Cook Children's Hospital last year. And since the shelter in place orders went into effect, the violence against children is alarming. So in less than a month, we've had three deaths from child abuse and we've had eight admissions to the hospital with um, serious physical abuse. Among the deaths is three-year-old Amari Boone. Police say he was killed. His grandmother spoke to us by phone. He had been beaten, broke or, two broke arms, ten broke fingers, and he had a fractured skull, bleeding on the brain. He never was breathing since he came to the hospital. The little boy was in CPS custody and living with friends of the family when it happened. A judge agreed to putting him there. But his grandmother says she had noticed bruises on him a month ago during a visit and was concerned. And he had been beaten already on the right side of his face. He had bruises on his chest. As Fort Worth police and CPS investigate the case at Cook Children's, they are concerned about what they are seeing. Usually when we see deaths from abuse, it's in infants. And these are all toddlers that have been killed. So it is raising the question, are the shelter in place orders leading to more child abuse? I don't think we have a good handle on it yet, but I, I didn't think we could wait to kind of sound the alarm. Child advocacy groups say the number of cases are actually down because children are not seeing the people who typically report cases like pediatricians, clergy and teachers. We don't know what we don't know, but I think it's imperative as a community that we reach out to families with children to make sure they're not feeling the stress or feeling the anger and anxiety and might be taking it on their children. Amari Boone's grandmother says she wishes more had been done to help save her grandson and prays for the safety of other children whose voices can't be heard. In Fort Worth, I'm Rebecca Lopez. And if you or someone you know is experiencing abuse, call the National Domestic Violence Hotline. The number is 1-800-799-7233. You can also chat online at thehotline.org. In Tarrant County, 211 is another resource.